Hi, this is a quick review of the iFlash drive for iOS device. Here I have an SD card plug-in and I'm using my iPhone 5S and my iPad Air. I was able to use the lightning port, plug it in and access the content on this SD card. I don't have any more older device so I was unable to test the 30 pin port. But at least with the iOS 8.1.2 and 8.1.1, both of them all works with this device. Beside the device, it does come with a little micro USB to USB cable. It comes in a box like this and it comes with a carrying pouch and this is from a company called Kevin1989 on Amazon. So again, let me show you what it looks like when you plug it in. So let's just have it plug in here. doesn't really matter which direction, I just want to face that direction. And they will ask me if I want to allow the iFlash drive to communicate with the X50 device flash basically. And I'm going to hit allow. As this app already installed, if you don't have it installed, it's going to ask you if you want to download it. And the app itself is pretty easy as you can see here. Uh, you have contact backup which you can back up your contact and restore. There's local storage which is basically what's on the device here. And then I have external storage which is basically just SD card. So you can see here in one of the uh, directory I have some pictures in here that I took earlier. And you can see these are pretty small pictures about a megabyte. Take about a second or two to load. And you can see here. Take about a second or two to load. There you go again. And you can actually save your photo album down here. You can also uh, click this button here. And... Uh, Try the different sharing option basically. These are taken by the DSLR on my camera and these are quite large. They're about 10 megabyte per file and you can see here it takes about 10 seconds to load. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So about 10 seconds to load a 10 megabyte file. So it's going about a megabyte per second. And this is a full resolution picture. You can just save it to your camera roll and it works fine. You also have the ability to add stuff to the row, for example. So I'm going to go here to one of the photos I have and I can actually add pictures to it. So from my library and I can actually go to the library and basically pick the picture here, hit done and it will basically upload. You have to get the option here. You can pick a video quality except side here. I'm going to have 100% when I'm going to hit copy and it takes a second here or so to copy. There we go. And now it's up here. So now you can see that picture is right here. And that's the picture that I just uh, took a screenshot earlier with the device. It's designed to basically read uh, pictures and videos. It does do some video, but um, it's kind of laggy. Uh, for example here, video that I take with my other camera. For example. You see here? Turn the volume up. So you see, even though it's a plain, just a regular AVI file, not even that so, high bit rate. Well, and uh, it lag a little bit, so I don't think this will be able to play movies or anything like that. It doesn't seem to do a really good job of doing that at all. I tried to play some MKV file, it played, but no sounds, and the movie doesn't really play that well. So I think really the intense the purpose of this is basically to design to read pictures and uh, maybe music or something off the memory card of your device. So when you are on the field, you try and take a pictures and you want to post that up to your, your social media, you can just plug this guy in. I also work on the iPad and uh, you can just import the pictures and upload. I've been trying a variety of different DVDs kind of product and uh, most of them seem to have a problem with iOS 8 and uh, this one is working pretty good but it does have its own external app so maybe that helps. And also if you're wondering what the micro USB port is for, basically you can use this cable here. Plug it in a micro USB port or any regular micro USB to USB cable. Plug it in your computer and you can access the content of that too. So hope your short little review helped you in your purchase decision and you have any questions, please let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.